SIU head football coach Nick Hill met with the media today in a virtual press conference. It was the first time he spoke with us in several weeks. We had questions, he had answers. You got to find the positives and everything or, or you sit around and you just keep complaining. All this stuff is out of our hands. We have an opportunity to grow. And I think that, uh, you know, change is inevitable and growth is optional. And right now we got to choose that we're going to grow and get better. Wake up in the morning, be thankful, be appreciative, have great perspective on things and, uh, and move forward. We'll look forward to playing in the spring. Uh, we'll look forward for an opportunity to, to have our, a championship season in the spring. I love this team that we have, the guys that we have returning, the commitment from our guys uh, about moving forward. As cliche as it may sound, the Salukis can only control what they can control. For these student athletes, the focus continues to be making the grade. It starts with academics. School started yesterday, and we're going to attack uh, school. Everybody's, you know, uh, class schedules are different, uh, school is different, some are online, some are hybrid, some are online, but you got to be on Zoom at the, the correct time. And so as coaches, we're, uh, you know, putting academics right now first. The pandemic offers daily challenges. SIU football is just going to stay the course and trust the medical experts. I mean, I do believe that the, the safest environment for our, our players to be in is here uh, inside our facility. The, the protocols that have put, been put in place here by our administration, our school, and then our, our coaching staffs um, seeing that through. Everybody's taking it seriously. Our numbers speak for themselves as far as the, the testing uh, percentages are not even close to what it's like out there in the real, the real public. I think we've had over almost 400 tests uh, for players and we've had one positive. Not only is SIU keeping their athletes physically safe, they are also looking out for their mental health. We've got great people here uh, that are here outside of the football um, coaching staff that are available for our players to talk to. Last Sunday, I, I, I let our players go home if they wanted to go home. I thought that was important and a lot, most of them took us up on and being able to just go see your family. Think back whenever you were 19, and or maybe you're a freshman sitting in the dorms and you had to quarantine for the first 14 days that you were here and you want to go see your fa family but can't. I mean, that leads to th those walls start shrinking in on you over at the, the dorm. The players that went home, they've got to go back through their isolation period and get retested on Friday. And then uh, the guys that stayed here, which is about 30 of them, we're, into, we're in workouts and things like that for this week. And then we'll we'll uh, we'll get going. I think we'll find out more throughout this week on what the the NCAA is going to allow us the fall to look like for teams that aren't playing, and uh, we'll put together a great schedule moving forward. Yesterday, SIU football learned that last year's leading tackler Quay Brown is entering the transfer portal. Here's what head coach Nick Hill had to say about players not only transferring but also opting out during this pandemic. No one loves Quay Brown more than me. Recruited him straight out of high school. He's in our first recruiting class. Quay Brown's been nothing but professional since he's been here. He's a great student. He's finishing up a six hour internship this fall. We'll walk across the stage as a graduate from, from SIU and always be an alumni. You gotta think what's, what's best for you. We have a lot of seniors on our team, 20 of them. And so they all have decisions to make. Got guys around the country. Uh, of making decisions. As far as speaking about across the country and uh, trying to play this fall, I don't think that that's what he's trying to do, but you'd have to, to, to talk to, to him. I, I don't think that uh, some of these kids, I mean, school has started. Uh, Quay's gonna be here to graduate um, this fall. So Quay will be on our campus and get his degree and then go somewhere in the spring.